Here's an update from yesterday. What's up YouTube? Corey the Random Guy. Today we are back out here in the power shed. This is actually the next day. And I want to show you guys a couple of updates that I said I was going to leave off with. This charge controller right here, it didn't work. It would not allow voltage to get past here. <laughs> And these are where the solar panels hook in. And the only reason why I know that is because a PWM charge controller brings the solar panel voltage down to the battery level. It didn't do that. So there was no power getting from here to here. That controller is dead. This one, on the other hand, made me a liar. I went to go hook this one back in. I set it down for 13.8. I went ahead and set it for 14.2 just to kind of bump it up a little bit. According to this, it is sitting right at 14.1. 14.2. Oh, I don't know if it caught that, but it was sitting at 14.2 just for a split second. And as soon as it got up to 14.2, it went into float mode and dropped the batteries down to its normal level. This charge controller actually seems to be working just fine. How ironic. We're going to leave that one hang out. We're not going to touch it. We're not going to set anything up. We're just going to leave it the way it is because right now it is sitting at a normal battery level and we're not going to go there. On to the inverter. Uh, you guys remember this from yesterday. This inverter, my neighbor graciously gave this to me. Thanks again. Go check out his channel. But for some reason, it could be something wrong internally. I don't know. As you see, I've got two plugs here. One goes to this power strip. The other one goes to this power strip. Fan here is hooked up to that power strip which is hooked up to this outlet. Let me show you guys what it does. I have about 13 volts or so right now with the lights on. It's pulling 29 watts. Let me turn on the little box fan. Nothing. As you see, lights are dead. Turn off the inverter, turn it back on, works fine. Now, if I turn this fan on low, it'll start, it'll start spinning. Now watch what happens when I turn it back off. I turn the fan off and that's what it does. Reset it, boom. It's gonna get real noisy. Mind your ears. We are gonna fire up this little guy. My shop vac hang up mini. We're gonna see what it does. Watch this. Now, with that running, it works fine. As soon as I shut it off, watch this light. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? Oh, it made a liar out of me. Nice. Before when I tested this on, on camera, or off camera actually, it would shut off as soon as I shut the shot back off. That's really weird. Now, we'll try this fan again. Go ahead and turn it on low. Doing fine. We'll turn it on medium. Nothing. So now some of you are probably wondering, well, why is this little tiny fan shutting down the inverter, but yet that shop vac is not, and it pulls about 800 watts, as you guys have seen. Good question. Well, let's try this again. Noise warning. It works fine with that. I, 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 don't, I don't understand it. But with this fan, I just turned it up to three. High, and it shut down. Maybe some of you guys can tell me, you know, what, what the hell the problem is out here. I know I've got plenty of juice right now. 13.8 right now. With it flashing, it is indicating that it is in bulk charge. 13.9, yes, there's a minus because I got the polarity wrong. 14, 14, 14.1, 14, 14.1. 14, 1. So, I mean, it's not too far off. It's actually really close. 14.2 drops batteries back to 13.6 or so. Bounces around. What I'm not understanding is how a shop vac can run off of this inverter here but yet this little fan cannot good question can anybody kind of tell me what's going on here the only thing i can think of is maybe there's something internally wrong with the fan i don't know i can try another one and maybe see what it does i have another one in the house in fact let me go grab that i'll be right back a few moments later all right guys i'm back i went and grabbed this fan it's my big 20 inch high velocity metal blade fan this thing alone on high, I do believe, takes about 200 watts. So we're gonna see what it does. That's low. And medium. It shuts down with a fan, and I don't, I don't understand that. Okay, so I just turn it back up on high, shut it down. 
and now it'll run. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? I, 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 I don't get it. It goes to shut down, I shut down the power and leave the fan running and turn it back on, it'll run just fine. Now watch what happens when I go turn it off. <laughs> kills it. It kills the whole damn thing. So that's really weird. You know, so it's not this fan, it's fans in general apparently that this thing has a hard time with and i don't understand why walmart i'm i hate to say it but you need to uh step up your game here i actually did research on these uh inverters and i'm not the only one having this issue apparently many 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 other people have had the same issue that i'm having so with that being said I'm guessing it's maybe the inverter itself. I'm not sure what the deal is. I mean, I'll deal with it for a little while and I'll get something different. But for now, it's the only one I got. I have that little 400, but you know, let's face it, that thing sucks. I don't know. I really don't know. This inverter confuses me. I've never seen an inverter do this before. And that's it, really. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below or comments below and you know, just kind of just kind of show just kind of tell me what the hell is really going on with this things. So. Anyway, guys, that was just a short little update of what I got. This little thing looked to be a liar yesterday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Charge controller charging seems to be working fine. Now I've just got to work on the uh, inverter side of things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss anything. Anyway, guys, I'm signing off. You guys have a good one. Bye, have a great time.